Morning Reefers, I'm Daniel, and today it's Saturday, I think, and I just wanted to do a quick video. We've been working all day. We're trying to get a new tank uh, system up and running. Um, one of the things that I kind of just want to discuss today, since I was so busy, is our new design, but also I've been throwing tons of frags in this tank lately. Uh, I switched back to some acros. I couldn't resist. Uh, I came across a few nice collector pieces, so I pulled some of my euphelias and I put them up on, on the, oh, I put the euphelias on the side of the glass, which I'll show you guys later on from the front, but all the acros are up on the tops of the rocks. So you can see just a little peak of the euphelias around the corner. I glued them to the sides of the tank in the overflow, uh, and I put a bunch of frags in here. So I want this rock completely covered. And that's what we're going to try to do. So anyway, so there is the tank. Like I said, I'll do a better update for you guys later. Um, just wanted to show you what we were working on. So this sink that we have, our fragging station, we pulled it out away from the wall because we wanted to add some new tanks on top. Now this is an eight foot long table, so it seemed like a new a no-brainer when I had the opportunity to get two four-foot deep blue frag tanks. So you are now looking down eight feet of frag tanks. So there you guys go. We built these tanks. I know it's crazy, but to be on top of the station because I wanted a setup just for anemones, rock anemones, you know, bubble tips and some mushrooms. So that's what I'm really going to use these for. It's going to be soft corals and, you know, every system needs its own system, basically. The lighting for the SPS is different than for the mushrooms, it's different for the ACANs. Um, so you really got to watch where you put what. That's why coral placement with your lighting is so crucial. And a lot of people ask me, but it's kind of a vague question. If I don't know the depth of your tank, I don't know you know, what kind of lights you're running, how powerful are they, your light schedule, how long they're on. There's just too much to know. So my goal, those of you who watch this channel and those of you who are regular subscribers and watchers, uh, I try to educate you a little bit every day of something new in the reefing hobby. May it be filtration or lighting or, you know, whatever it is, maintenance, you know, things to watch out for. Um, so pretty much we do everything in this channel. So spread the word. But it's Saturday, we're done, um, can't wait, can't wait to drill the back of this and fill these up. So, and if you haven't noticed yet, there's no fourth leg over here. Um, I left this wide open on purpose because I wanted to hang it from the ceiling instead. So there we go, it's hanging from the rafters, that support beam. And I don't have to worry about getting caught on that whenever I'm working on the frag tanks and going back and forth. So, thank you to those of you who are watching this Saturday video. I do appreciate it. Um, you know, I hope you're doing some tank maintenance today or you're all caught up and you're just getting a chance to relax and sit back. These tanks on this side are soon going to be filled up with starfish, crabs, snails. These are going to be our cleanup crew tanks on this side. So all this stuff over here will be just for keeping your tank, your effusion, your whole reef balanced. And then over here we'll have the fish and other stuff. So right now it's, you know, like I said, still a work in progress. He devoured that leg. There's like nothing left of it. It is very interesting to see um, that Harlequin went to town. So anyway, I'll have to feed him again soon. I can't believe it. The starfish is fine. Those of you who are worried, he crawled around. He's doing his thing. That leg will regrow. We'll check it back in a few days and see how, how long it's taken. And this guy's chilling over here. I will make sure I feed him something later on. And this eel is just chilling. He's like, you ain't feeding me today, I ain't coming out.
I gotta be careful. Every time I clean my tank, I'm worried this thing is gonna get me. But I forget. Honestly, it's so funny. I'm so worried, but then I'll forget it's there. And I'll start cleaning and then feel a little prick. So, but I don't wanna get rid of that. Long spine sea urchin is super cool. Super, super cool. As always, I get lost looking at my own tank. I'm looking through the camera and I'm like, wow, what is this? It's so cool to see. Um, but I will do a more in-depth breakdown of the tank and the corals that I put in here. Because there's some beauties in here. Um, and now I really want to get this thing established. I want this tank to be covered. I don't want any rock exposed. Completely covered in corals. So that's going to be my next goal. But there you guys go. Quick update. Thanks for watching. As always, happy reefing. Until next time.